In today's demo, I will show you another new feature introduced in Hyper-V Next called Production Checkpoints. So let's start a little bit of overview of what checkpoint. A checkpoint is a point in time capture of a virtual machine storage and memory state, which can then be reverted to at some later point in time. However, this was focused around test and dev only because the virtual machine is unaware of the checkpoint capture and therefore the state could be inconsistent. So when Microsoft first designed checkpoint back in Windows Server 2008, they were designed specifically for dev and test environment and not for production use. So this isn't supported for production environment as if you think about it, let's say you have an exchange server or SQL or whatever file server, so when you roll it back with all the memory state, it, it thinks that all the client's machine are still connected to it. And it thinks that all the no, no I.O. operation of that you don't want to server to have when you revert it back. So Microsoft noticed that people are using a checkpoint in production environment. So in Windows Server Technical Preview, Microsoft introduced the new production checkpoint, which gives you the exact same user experience that you get with checkpoints today. But instead of capturing the memory state of the virtual machine, they leverage the VSS, the Volume Shadow Copy infrastructure, to get a data consistent snapshot inside the guest Windows virtual machine. However, in Linux, the file system buffers are flashed out, which make the OS in applica an application consistent state and therefore usable in production environment. It's a very important point to, to mention that this is, does not eliminate to take a regular backup. The backup is very important. So please keep taking backup. So let's start our demo. I have a virtual machine configured with a standard check, checkpoint. We will connect to it. Very important uh, also point to mention that you can still use the old style checkpoint if you prefer as well as configure the old style, old style checkpoint to be used if the production checkpoint can be created. So uh, Microsoft uh, in Hyper-V Manager, under settings for the, each virtual machine, you can see we have a new uh, checkpoint uh, uh, added to the management. As you can see, we have checkpoint types, enable checkpoint. You can disable completed checkpoint for this, for this virtual machine. You can enable only production checkpoint or if production checkpoint can be created for any reason or for example the backup integration services is, isn't available so by default it will automatically create standard checkpoint if production che checkpoint is not available or you can configure it only to be like all the style ch standard checkpoints so here the virtual machine configured the standard checkpoint we will connect to it Let's say I will type this is standard checkpoint. Now I will take a standard checkpoint for this VM. See, same command that checkpoint dash VM, the name of the VM snapshot name. Now let's say we will open any application around, PowerShell, Paint. Now I will revert back to the standard checkpoint. I will apply the standard checkpoint. Then I will connect back to the VM. As you can see, we reverted back to the exact point in time where I took the checkpoint for this VM. So it captured the memory state and storage for the VM. Also, you can get the, the standard checkpoint details using PowerShell. So here, get VM snapshot name, the VM name, as you can see, snapshot type and state. So as you can see, the state is saved. So it's saved state. 
so you can differentiate between the production and the standard checkpoint by this value here state is saved now we will compare it to the production checkpoint and see the difference so now we are done with the standard checkpoint demo I will prepare a production checkpoint VM we will connect now to a production check checkpoint virtual machine So this is a virtual machine configured with with a production checkpoint. Actually, we can do everything with the UI, but I automated through PowerShell to keep consistent uh, naming and uh, to keep the things automated. So here you can see only this VM is configured only with production checkpoints. So let's see now the difference. We will type something in Notepad. This is production checkpoint. I will take production checkpoint as you can see the same commandlet checkpoint nothing changed the same commandlet so the same user experience as you can see the checkpoint is taking a little bit more time since we are leveraging the VSS inside the guest we will open different valid applications not bad paint paint so now I will Rever I will apply the production checkpoint. So consider, consider this as, as, as equal uh, server, and you want to apply the production checkpoint. So the VM will be rolled back to a clean backup state, and uh, we will we will do a reboot. So this is also another point to remember that when you apply a production checkpoint to a VM where you already took a production checkpoint so the VM will be in off state you need to turn it off like like, like when you restore the VM from backup so here I, I restarted the VM I started the VM automatically so this is also point when you apply a production checkpoint the VM will be in off state you need to start start it up I will connect back as you can see I connected like I just did the reboot for the virtual machine so as you can see I open my notepad and here you go we have the production checkpoint uh, saved so it's an application consistent let's see now with PowerShell as you can see difference here state is off here you can differentiate between the standard checkpoint the state for the standard checkpoint was saved however for the production checkpoint the state was off so this is the diff difference between both of them so I hope uh, this short demo has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.